All right, so I'm on this project to really, for my own personal experience, to dig into the Snap-on Toolbox, Sonic Toolbox, um, working through Hazette. You saw me mess with the Weira screwdrivers. Uh, I've got to get into, I'm into the Koken catalog right now, Koken Japanese tools. I have some KTC stuff over here. Of course, I spent a lot of time with the Sonic tools and uh, I'll show you in a second, but the Snap-on box, I'm tool gritting out. I've gotten um, about a, I think about an $18,000 set of tools from Snap-on. This here you're looking at, I think this is the complete set. I think everything was in stock, uh, but this is a roughly $14,000 or $14,700, I think, uh, $14,700 set of tools. The, the comparison and all this data I'm gathering, one, it's freaking fun. I love tools. I don't really like using tools. I just like getting them, you know, which is the fun part. Uh, you can hold that against me if you'd like, but uh, I'm smiling ear to ear when I see these white boxes show up. And uh, I'm really just sort of compiling a, a data set in my brain so that way hopefully someday I can create a curated line of tools like I'm missing a few, got a few spray bottles over here, but all these detailing chemicals have different, uh, different stuff in them. Uh, and then I'm trying to figure out a way to make a, a, a spray bottle that works and functions really well, that has, uh, you know, has all the different chemicals from what I believe to be the best manufacturers on the planet. And so I'm not just picking one detailing line or one detailing product uh, manufacturer, I'm searching the world. And so we're doing the same thing with tools. I knew I couldn't do this in the beginning of this business because uh, it's not a big deal to buy a hundred bucks worth of uh, detailing chemicals from Meguiar's or 300 bucks from, from Adams or something like that. But when you get into tools, shoot, this one has that drawer of ratchets. This is probably like, I don't know, four, five, six thousand uh, dollars. I'm 40 something thousand dollars into my Snap-on toolbox. Uh, this is $15,000 worth of tools. I bought uh, another, you know, $17,000, 18000 worth of Weira stuff. So it gets really, really expensive. So speaking of the expense, uh, what I'm doing right now, running this month, uh, you're watching this video, uh, we're going to give away. Uh, so we're doing a digital entry raffle. Go to ObsessedGarage.com. You'll see it right on the banner. You can enter to win. I'm going to give away the Snap-on box, which, um, you know, 40 or so thousand bucks into. The Sonic box is going to be something like, you know, 28, 30,000 bucks is going to be into this sucker. Uh, and so these, all these tools and tool grid and all this organization is going to be given away here at the end of the month. I'm going to do a drawing. One real huge advantage is I ordered this box, got it two days later. I ordered these tools, they had them in stock, got them two days later. I still am missing probably 30% of the tools I had ordered and I finally told them, look, forget it. It took about three months to get my Snap-on toolbox and my Snap-on tools. So that's been a real frustration. The other thing is, I know exactly, this is $14,762 and like 30 cents or something like that. I'm still not completely sure what I paid for my Snap-on stuff. I'm gonna get all the spreadsheets out and I'm gonna get uh, uh, an, on the whiteboard in a, in a coming video here in the next couple of days. And we're gonna try to figure it out together. Like what did I actually pay for that Snap-on box? I think I still have some stuff on credit. I'm, I have a pretty, pretty astute background. I'm a pretty astute finance guy. And yet the Snap-on stuff is really confusing. This to me, really simple. You can go to obsessedgarage.com, you can go to soniktools.com, order the stuff, shows up. There's no negotiating, it's just simple. Pricing I think is correct and uh, we don't have to dance around. So what I'm gonna do today is start unboxing the foam inlays and uh, I'm another th sort of negative to, to snap on, which I don't think is that big of a deal because they're gonna have that box forever. You're gonna buy a toolbox and have it for theoretically the rest of your life. Is this is gonna take us like an hour to unbox and put in a drawer. I'm days into organizing with the tool grid system, my Snap-on box. So just something to mention. So I don't know what's in these. This is going to be exciting. So what, what we did, this toolbox is different than my cabinet array. So I've built, this is the, one of the things that has been really frustrating with tools and a lot of products in general. I want to build a complete set of tools and they really don't do a very good job of that. None of the manufacturers do, certainly not Snap-on. So I've been trying to figure out like what, 
how do I build a, a, a grouping of tools? Like, how do I want like one of everything? And so how do I do that? And it's been rather frustrating to try to figure out how to do that. Uh, it's been a lot of work. Now, the good news for me as a business practitioner is that uh, I get to figure it out. And then hopefully then I can provide some value to the world by figuring it out. All right, so this is going to go in these drawers. So uh, we have, this is a XD st type cabinet, so it's extra deep. This is the S15 version of the Sonic Next toolbox. Uh, and so these are, I think, uh, these drawers are for their XD size foam inlays. And these drawers are um, extra deep, but medium in length and width, I should say. So um, we're gonna kind of figure out how we, how uh, Kyle and Tommy have set me up here. So expect this, I don't mind this, but um, you know, they cellophane wrap these when they come. And uh, generally speaking, you're gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting. Some people get really mad about this. I don't know why, it doesn't really bother me that much. You know, they have to ship them to us and the shippers are banging this stuff around and uh, the cellophane holds it in place to some extent, uh, but we, you know, we do have to put the tools in place generally when we get them. I've never seen it as a big problem, but one thing I don't have to do that I've had to do with all the, uh, the snap-on stuff, I don't have to clean any of this stuff. It's clean, it's new, it's nice, it's neat. Uh, the snap-on stuff is kind of dirty and janky and gross. Uh, and so that's been a uh, bit of a frustration. You could save these uh, inventory sheets if you wanted to. I don't suggest it. Uh, you can just get this on the website whenever you want. So assuming they don't discontinue it, even then you can find the discontinued ones. The model number is right here on the foam. So Sonic tools are um, Taiwanese made generally, like many tools are. So that's a knock on them versus some of the snap-on stuff is gonna be made in uh, in the US. I'd say we're down to maybe 50% of the stuff is in the US now. So it's not like every single thing you get from Snap-on is gonna be made in the US. The Snap-on warranty, I think is a bunch of nonsense because anything I've needed, the trucks don't have. So maybe if you're in a really big city, maybe there's a real big advantage to the warranty, but I can order this from Sonic and have it in a day or two, if something were to break. I don't think I've broken anything yet. We, we use these tools pretty much every day. So I know I get accused of not using tools a lot, but I used them three or four times today already. So Mike's been using them all day. We're building the shed out back, so we're always working on something. So this collection you're gonna see come together here is what we call the Obsessed Garage uh, Advanced Kit. So I've spent a lot of time, like I, I, I cut, I, I got like 10 catalogs from Sonic and I cut them apart. Uh, and so I chopped them up and I, I cut like all these little pieces and we kind of laid them out on the table and I've done that three or four times where we laid them all out and, uh, and figured out what's what. This isn't, per this isn't normal where you've got a little, this is more, snap-on like where the tools kind of have a bit of a patina to them already. I don't know if this was banging around in the container or what, but I like the finish on on Sonic tools and they generally don't come all gooped up. So this is going to fit in this drawer size, which I'm probably going to have to take my hazat stuff out of here. So what I generally do when I'm setting up my toolbox is set my foam in, lays in, and then we'll kind of readjust as we, as we work through this. But that's doesn't get any better. It takes freaking 10 seconds. Open it up, make sure everything's in the right spot, toss it in the drawer. That's pretty sweet, I think. The thing that intrigues me so much about these tools and the more I get my hands on, you can believe me or not, the more I get my hands on these other tools, these German tools, Japanese tools, I'm ordering from all over the place. I just keep, keep it keeps reinforcing my choice of you know, the Sonic system. The thing I fell in love with was the cabinets. I love their cabinets. I think the MSS Plus cabinets from Sonic are the best cabinets in the world. Um, 
Rousseau stuff I'm going to spend a little more time with. This, I, the MSS Plus cabinets are better than the Lista in many aspects. Certainly fit and finish. Uh, Lista stuff gives you more customization capability. But the, the Sonic MSS Plus is the best cabinets I think you can get. They're a little less expensive than Lista. About the same price as the Lusso, Russo stuff that we're working with, working on. And then they have this organization system that is unparalleled. So the tools are nice. I keep, you know, the more time I spend with them, the nicer I think they are. Uh, but my initial thought here, my initial, like for my own initial purchase, where the heck does this thing go? That slides in here. Uh, this just needs to be. My initial plan with, with tools was, well, I know this is going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's going to take me several years to do. It's going to require me to have a giant team of people to build the products out once I do it. I'm going to have to have a track record of success with vendors, so I'm going to have to you know, leverage that uh, in order to convince companies to even allow me to buy their stuff uh, and then become vendors for it. And then eventually we'll make our own foam inlays uh, or maybe even work with Sonic to make foam inlays with, you know, competing tools with to have a grouping of what I what tools I like the most and uh, then um, then be able to you know, launch that that sort of product line but that's going to take a lot of money a lot of time a lot of effort and I'm going to do it but I couldn't do it in the beginning and so I fell in love with these tools and this uh, this system and we've been using them for several years now, and man, I really, really like them. So as I was saying, this is the Obsess Garage Advanced Package, and then we went, kind of went through the grouping of the Advanced Package of a couple of other drawers that we might want, and then set it up with this toolbox. But the packages I've created are for cabinets. I don't do a lot of toolboxes because most people, we're designing people's garages, and Cabinets are so much more realistic cost-wise, so I generally recommend buying cabinets. You can choose to take this foam out or not. In fact, this one's jacked up, so that's going to go. And so what we're going to need for these drawers, and I don't know that they ordered it, is we're going to need the piece to complete it. Well, we'll get there when we get there. Oh yeah, that's the hammer set. So in us taking the catalogs apart, chopping it up, and then uh, then figuring out how to make complete sets, because Sonic doesn't do, a, that's one thing they don't do a very good job of. They have hundreds and hundreds of different foam inlay sets, and I find it rather difficult to, uh, to work through and figure out how to get yourself a nice complete set. Put this one here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this drawer. I'm also going to be, because the uh, Sonic is a lot, the cost was quite a bit less, we're going to end up with a lot more tools than the Snap-on set, and we're going to end up with uh, some Milwaukee tools in here as well, because the cost difference is so substantial. I love this. This is another thing, for whatever this is worth, I've spent my money, I've been spending a lot of money on tools here lately. When the Wera stuff showed up, I mean, I was smiling ear to ear. I was excited. It was fun. It was invig It was uh, motivating. When the has that stuff showed up, not quite as much. Just wasn't feeling quite as excited. The Snap-on experience has been rather stressful and just not a lot of fun. Like getting the tools, it's always it's been kind of a a disappointment every time I get a set of tools just doesn't feel I just haven't felt that feeling of excitedness and I'm, you know, I'm spending my money on it but when these tools show up this is probably the tenth time I've unboxed a set of, uh, of, Sna of Sonic tools I get really fired up I get really excited to dig into this like this is to me a lot of freaking fun this particular foam inlay is a bit ridiculous but it's cool nonetheless this is when you're getting into the territory of, um, I have everything, why not? So we'll see how this organizes in all these drawers. 
I'll make an assessment of how my guys did. Tommy and Kyle putting this together. So these large, or I think these, this is a medium size. I think this is a medium. So the medium can, uh, you can fit two of them in an XD wide drawer. So every time I get these, I always just kind of put them in a drawer and then start shifting them around. That's cool. Man, it's just, it's like Christmas every day here. Too bad I'm not gonna keep this toolbox. I might get one on my own. Get one for me. So the winner of the giveaway gets to choose which one you want. Do you want first place Sonic or Snap-on? Second place gets second choice. T-handles. Yeah, see that's the one thing I wish they would do is make this two drawers. I'm gonna really hammer on them about doing that. We need two drawers, not one. time I wanted to open this up this has been sitting here for a couple of days boom look how good it's just it doesn't get any better than that it's so freaking good I love it let's get this out of here I'm making a huge mess These white boxes show up, I get freaking fired up. These must be XD sized. So I think what we'll do, I'll just kind of show you this unboxing and then, oh yeah, yeah that's freaking good. <laughs> that gets me fired up. <clears throat> and then uh, I think what we'll probably do is do some more detail work videos. After I get through this here, I got to get into the detail of the cost breakdown. I think that that, that interests me a lot. You're making decisions on building a nice toolbox. Man, I think no, I, then I have someone. I think I have somebody coming here. Yeah, I got to break for a minute. Open that up, and that's gonna go. See, look at how this fits. I love these drawers. Full XD. Man, sick. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's freaking sweet. <clears throat> Let me get with her real quick and then we'll come back. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this drawer is freaking sweet, man. We'll show, we'll compare, contrast, and show you all the differences, but I think it'd be freaking nuts to not pick this toolbox. I pick this every day of the week. The, the, the Snap-on toolbox is better. It's a better toolbox, but it's also, oh shoot, it's significantly more money. And this one fit and finish is better. And then you've got this foam inlay system that's just incredible. You know where my money is. I can get anything I want. Well, Matt, the only reason you're saying that is because you're selling it. Well, 
if Snap-on was definitive for me, then I just wouldn't sell tools. I feel like there's a freaking million things I can sell in this world. I just say, look, I'm not your guy for tools. Go to frickin' Snap-on, but it's just not the deal. It's certainly not for me. So we're gonna definitively, so I wouldn't definitively say that, you know, the Sonic tools are better, but I mean, the screwdrivers are definitely better, that's for sure. But it's really not, it's never been until recently with you guys busting my balls about this, it really has never been like, what's, you know, snap-on's the best, and blah, 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 it's not, I don't really, I wasn't really in that argument. I just don't like snap-on stuff. Don't like the experience, I don't like to deal with it, and so I, but I hadn't really gone down the path. I just went on a truck one time and I'm like, this is not for me. I just couldn't find anything I wanted. And so, I was living off of that sort of snap judgment from 10 years ago, and my judgments were 100% correct. It is not a great experience. This is E5, where does that go? E5. I think this guy goes here. These little baby ones, little quarter inches sometimes fall out so again this isn't my preference of inlays but because we're limited in the amount of drawers we have and the sizes of drawers we have we have to work on it we have to make some concessions to get a reasonably complete set of tools This is the best drawers. These are the two, my two faves here. So 3 8 inch drive, XD deep, amazing. And then half inch drive, XD deep. And uh, clearly I have some work to do on organizing because I have a bunch of has that stuff in there. Oh man, it's so good. So it comes with your two. Click style, my favorite style. Torque wrenches, you know, I had, I, I'd actually bought the, uh, shoot, yeah, the Snap-on box didn't have any, any torque wrench stuff in it. Sorry. But I had those, uh, the digital ones from them and I didn't like it. I sold them. So we got a bit of a mess going on here. Let's open this one up here. So just prepare yourself. Don't get all entitled on me. But uh, when you buy these tools, and they come cellophane wrapped like this, which is awesome, they come in a box. But you know, they've, they've, they've been, they had to transit here in a truck, and who knows what they've had to experience. Uh, we generally ship this stuff on a pallet, so it's usually gonna come freight, unless you only order like one or two of them. Uh, but, you know, generally speaking, you're going to have a few tools that you've got to put in place. So just prepare yourself for that. And if you're prepared, you won't be cranky about it. I kind of like it because it gives me something to do. You know, when I get them, I, I want to get my fingers on all these tools. I don't want to use them. I just want to sort them out. This is the newer XD half-inch drive drawer, and it has the the latest longer so this is the 80 to 400 newton meter version this is the perfect length this is their longest until you get up into the big three quarter stuff the really long stuff and uh, it's just the right length the one that i have in the original drawer i have over there is a little short uh, for best function and then these guys, I think Koken's probably gonna replace these guys. These are, these are really nice when you get them, but then this plastic usually gets jacked up on your wheels. Doesn't jack up the wheels, but it, the plastic usually gets messed up. And then I never knew what this little cauliflower looking, this is Mercedes, I didn't know that. I don't wanna sacrifice my shirt. 
All right, so our next video on this will be, I'll show you more specifically. I don't want to bore you to death. I'm probably going to spend an hour putting it from drawer to drawer, to drawer you know, moving it around 10 times until I get it where I want it. Uh, so I'll share that with you when I, when I, after I get it done. But we're, we have a full, I have a full price breakdown on, I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna get, a, get all, the, all of my invoices out and I'm gonna work through all the details. My towels are kind of making this thing so a little wonky. But I'm gonna work through all the details of how I ordered this stuff, what it cost, how I ordered the Snap-on stuff, what it cost. We're gonna try to, just try to break through and work on the financing component of the Snap-on stuff. All this I just, you, you know, just paid for. Um, so more uh, comparison stuff, uh, but I did want to capture this on camera because this is my favorite My favorite thing. I think this could very likely be my favorite thing to wait for and receive and unbox And that's sonic foam inlays with the sonic tools I wanted that same feeling when I when the snap-on truck guy would come every Friday I just every time he came I'm like ah, I don't I, and I wanted to want to so it's not like I'm talking myself out of it. I'm like, man, I, I want to like get excited, but when I go in and I look at these tools, it's just not, just, I know they're, I know they're functional. I know they're, they work just fine, but like this just isn't exciting to me. Like they're all greased up. I need to clean them up here. They're freaking brand new. I don't even use any of these tools. It's just not the same, man. Something about everything about it. The whole experience, just not the same. The toolbox is a little nicer than I thought, but still has quite a bit of jank. But we'll get into more comparison stuff as we uh, finish up this series. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope someday you can get something like this, as cool as this. Uh, my long-term plan is to, like if, you know, to, to let's say Hazad or Stallville or something like that, or Weira having Weira screwdrivers combined with Sonic Tools or, or, or Knipix and all the different brands in this same kind of setup where it looks like this in a drawer. That's when we know, that's when I know that we've, we've made it. So that's what I'm working on. That's part of the process of this whole thing. And the reason I'm doing the giveaway is because I need to get out from underneath all these tools as I work through this. So hope you'll, you'll participate. I'm going to be drawing a winner here in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. See you on the next toolbox video. See you soon.